good morning guys this is dana tucker with dnl recording studios llc sitting uh, about 80 miles south of washington dc right outside of a little town called montrose virginia in a little subdivision called glebe harbor so guys at this point we're going to go over if you remember the first video if you watched it one thing that i did want to mention is your computer whatever you're going to use to be streaming with you must have it hardwired into your router. It doesn't matter whether you can see your router or not. Do not try and do this wireless. Take the time, do a fundraiser, it doesn't matter. Buy the cable that you need to connect your PC or laptop directly into your router. So here we are in XSplit Broadcaster, and you're gonna notice here uh, about the scenes here, and it's real simple to do. The scene number one, I'm going to come in here and just label it PC. Okay, and that stands for Pastor Cherry. So I'm going to come up here now and we're going to put his website in here and I'm going to click on the web page. Now, with this particular program, you can copy, but you cannot paste using your mouse. So I'm going to hit the Control and V and that's going to put it right in there and I'm going to say OK. And now it's going to bring it up and there he is. Now I'm going to come to the right hand side up here and on my workspace I like the split mode and this is going to allow me to see what my preview is. Now one thing I want to mention when you're in the oh, preview mode and you're on a website and I'm just going to slide this over and try and get it about 50-50 and I apologize guys. I am trying to do this in, in real time so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay. So uh, here I'm going to do, uh, this is my, uh, when I push live, this is what it's going to do. Okay, this is what I'm going to see. So now I put in his website here. And when you're in the preview stage, you can manipulate the website. You can pick whatever that you want to show. However, when you push live, you cannot manipulate that website. So that's scene one. Now we're gonna go to scene two. And let's go ahead and add in uh, one of our cameras. So we're going to come up here to video. And here you're going to see all the cameras you have at your disposal. Okay. Uh, this is not my regular webcam. This is my uh, Panasonic. It is a uh, HCV770. It's a high def camera. As you can see, my mixer over here, my headphones. Uh, my lights are coming up. Uh, we're going to get into a, just a little bit of gain staging here. So uh, what I can do is simply label this cam one. And then we can go to scene two. See if my other cameras come up yet. Uh, video. There we go. So we'll pull this one up. This one is actually pointing to my X32 series. This is a mixer. That is what these videos were actually made for. This is the uh, X32 rack on top, S16 at the bottom. Now, one thing that I want to point out is that anytime that you assign a camera, you also need to assign the audio that's going to go with it. So down here, as you can see, uh, I can use the microphone USB audio, uh, audio Kodak. That's what I'm recording this video on. If I click this right now, it's going to drop it out of my Camtasia software, so I can't do that. So I'm just going to pick another source. Here's my Behringer X32 here. And that's what this little window up here is. Okay, if I right mouse click it, uh, it'll bring up the properties on this. It's just showing you that something is, is there. The audio input, right there it is. So I'm going to click this again and as it comes up and any camera that you have that you want your service or whatever it is, your band, it doesn't matter. And it doesn't matter which order you put these in. Okay, so I'm going to come up here and just say Cam 2. And then we'll click off of it. Scene 4. Let's say that you wanted to do a video. Okay, that you, you have a video up there that you want to put, and this would be under your uh, media files. It's going to bring it up. I'm going to come up in here to PC. That's Pastor Cherry. This is a piece of audio that I did. 
and I ran it through Reaper. This is an actual video. My first F report card. This was his last sermon last Sunday. Don't let the word fool you. Uh, from God, I'm telling you right now, brother and sister, you want an F on your report card when it comes to God. Okay? So all we're doing now is we're setting up our scenes. Okay? So let me go ahead and just label this uh, video. Video one. Okay. And I apologize for me coming in and out of here with the microphone. But if you can see the inside of my studio right now, I've got about uh, three mics sitting over me. It's real hard for me to see my laptop, but I want to get all this in. Okay. So now we've got our stuff set up how we want to present it. Okay, we want to start off with the, the website of where we're going to be at. So we're, we, we've got it over here. Okay, now you come up to broadcast, and as you can see, I've already put in, uh, this is my information for my Facebook and my YouTube. This is so simple. When you click this, it's going to ask you to simply log into your accounts. Once you do, this program is going to remember that. Okay, so regardless of which one I log into, it's just a simple matter of logging in. And if you look right over here to the right, this is the automatic setup. This is what Facebook says. These are our optimal settings. This is what we want to see. So, you know, guys, they spent millions and millions, if not billions of dollars into their, uh, you know, R&D, into their research and development. Take their advice. Give them what they want. Okay? So if you do that, then you will have no problem whatsoever streaming your services. Now, on a quick note, and I'm going to go back here to my uh, camera number one. And when you're streaming, uh, on this, this little mixer is a sweet mixer. I think it's about $179. He's got a little brother, okay? It's, it's the four. But the most important thing is it allows it to come into the computer via USB. And that's where you want to pick up your source at. Because on this mixer, as well as the uh, four channel, and I think it's $79, okay? When you stream audio, you want to have a little bit of EQ control. You want to be able to take a little bit of the top end and, and reduce it. And guys, I'm talking 2 dBs max, okay? You want to be able to come down to your low end and you want to be able to boost that just a hair, maybe one or two dBs. Now, with this particular mixer, as well as the uh, Elias uh, 4 channel, you also have your reverbs over here. You have your different FX controls. You can do a large room, a small room, uh, the hall. You can do plates. You can do the reverbs. You can do the chorus. And, and you want to do this. You want to open up the main control, which is the red knob here. I know you can't see it. My finger's on it. And then you want to come over to this channel, and you want to sit there and just barely open this up until you can hear that effect come in. Now, this is one of the most important things of all. Whoever is listening to that live stream must be able to communicate with the person running the service or the band. They've got to be able to tell you, hey, man, your input is too high or your input needs to be lowered because they're going to be watching it on the other end of your stream, whether it be Facebook or whether it be YouTube, Stitch, Twitter. It just doesn't matter. OK, now uh, that's why you see the headphones over here. If I was going to apply these effects, I want to hear it right from the place that I'm supplying it from. Because there is nothing worse than when you start listening to your stream and then, 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 it, 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 sound, 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 sounds like, 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 like. You know what I'm saying, guys? You don't want that. So you've got to be able to instantly hear it. And that way, your person, they could be sitting in the car. They could be in the next room. They could be at their house sending you a text message. So you've got your person assisting you and they're saying, hey, man, Turn it down, turn it down, turn oh, oh, up, oh, okay, perfect, leave it right there. Once you get those settings, guys, write them down, okay, you're done. It's that simple. Now, on the transition right here, I've got the fade going. 
And what I'm going to do now is actually go live. I'm going to go live on my Facebook page. And so you can see what it looks like, okay? And you're going to see these numbers come up, and these are very important numbers. Uh, we're just going to keep all this the same. I don't never change it for these tutorials. This is where you would name your video. You would give it a title. You would describe it. You could do this up there for your events. And that way people can say, hey, I'm coming. I'm interested. You'll have all this information before you even start. You're going to click start broadcast. The pastor's looking at you. The band member's looking at you. They say, okay, man, we're getting ready to go. Let us know when you're live. And you're looking at them and you're saying, okay, once I get the red light, there we go, gentlemen, ladies, we are now live, as you can see right up here. So I'm looking at them going five with my hand, and I'm counting them down. Five, four, three, two, and I point, and they start to speak, or the drummer's clicking them in, okay? Now, it's just that simple. So up here, as you can see this information, here's my bit rate. Here's my drop frames. If you see these frames start to drop, Okay, that means your video is chopping, and that means your audio is chopping. And that's where you're going to get that, and, uh, and, uh, and then it's going to start buffering. And when it starts buffering for 15 or 20 seconds, and people have to wait on it just to hear or watch 10 seconds of audio, they're going to click off your stream. Okay, so now I'm looking at this camera, and I want to push this live. I come right over here, and I go push live. And there we are. This is now, on the right-hand side, what you would see up there on my Facebook page. If I come back down to video one, I'm sitting there looking at a preview of it, and then I would say, push live. I remember the first time I ever received an F report card. I remember it as plain as day. I was cheating. So all I'm doing is selecting my scenes, I'm naming my scenes, and then I'm hooked in live. And at this point now, I'm going to come up here and stop this broadcast. I'm simply going to click it again. And that's it. We are done. It is absolutely that simple, okay, to sit here and do this. Now, as far as the transitions go, uh, there is a boatload you can pick from, okay? Uh, you just go through, you find one that's appropriate for what you want to do, and that's what it looks like. And guys, if you're dealing with the X32 or any of the more professional mixers, okay, uh, make sure you check out video number three in this series. And uh, that's the one that's going to be a little bit longer, and we're going to go into quite a bit of detail. All right, take care, God bless, and we are... Out of here.